Miss Amanda here. So today's story is going to be Polar Bear Night. And this is written by Lauren Thompson and illustrated by Stephen Savage. Polar Bear Night. The night is keen and cold. Snug inside her warm den, a polar bear cub awakes. Something in the moonlight stillness quickly beckons. What is it? The little cub leaves her warm, soft mother so deep asleep. She sets out for the snow and sky and sea and ice, and the moon follows. Quietly, the little club, cub creeps across the snow, listening, watching. All the others are asleep. She sees the walrus. He's sleeping. She sees the seals. They're also sleeping. Do you think you can sleep like that? Straight up? She sees the whales. They are swimming as they sleep. Farther and farther the polar bear cub walks, watching, listening. Where is she going? What will she find? The little bear climbs high upon the mountain of snow. There she waits, wondering, and the moon waits with her. Then the stars begin to stir. Over here, stars are softly falling. Over there, too. It's a star shower. You guys ever seen falling star shooting stars? Or falling stars? It's really cool. Oh, someone's awake. The stars are like snowflakes, falling, falling. They light up the snow and ice. They light up the lapping waves of the sea. They light up the walrus and the seals and the whale who've all woken up to join her. They light up the bear's warm, snug den and her soft, sleeping mom. They light up everything the little bear loves and the little bear shines bright with light too. One by one, the stars stop falling Soon they are still again, shining upon the little bear, shining as they sleep. Now the polar bear cub is ready for sleep too. She makes her way back through the keen, clear night and the moon follows. Snow and sky and sea and ice and mother bear's soft warm fur Home. The end. I think that's a great story. Let's make some snowflakes of our own that won't melt. I'll show you how. Come on. Here's what you'll need to make your snowflake. Cardstock, liquid glue, salt, watercolor paints, water, and a paintbrush. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're going to make our snowflake shape with our glue. If you're not entirely sure or confident in what shape you want to make your snowflake, not a problem. You can always sketch it out beforehand. I just kind of freehanded it this time. And remember, every snowflake is unique. You don't have to exactly copy mine. Next thing up is to put a lot of salt on your snowflake. I can't stress that enough. Put a lot of salt on your snowflake. Make sure you cover every piece of your glue. Now here's the super important part. Wait until your snowflake is dry before you knock that salt off. Once it's dry, you can knock all the salt off. If you do it too early, you could leave big chunks out of your snowflake. All right, so now here's the fun part. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to really wet our watercolor paints. And as you see there, it didn't have enough water. There we go. So if your color doesn't expand on impact, it doesn't start you know, moving down your snowflake, just add some more water to it. Okay, and this goes for all of it. Just add some more water to it. Make sure when you're painting your snowflake, you're not dragging your brush. 
just little dabs all along. Now you can make the snowflake blue and purple like I'm doing today. You can make yours a rainbow. You can make yours just bright green. You can do whatever you want with it. It's totally up to you. This is your snowflake. And again, every snowflake is unique. And once again, we're just going to keep adding water and keep adding color. What's really cool is if you start putting colors next to each other and add more water to it, the colors will start to blend and will start to mix. So if you put red and blue next to each other, you'll get purple in between. If you put green and yellow next to each other, you'll get a brighter green where they meet, all that kind of stuff. It looks super cool when you're done. Today I just stuck with some blue and purple for our snowflake. But as you can see, where the colors meet kind of becomes a different color and it's super cool to watch that all blend out. And there you have it. So once this is completely dry, I actually recommend spraying it with a bit of hairspray just to make sure everything stays put. And that is that. Hope you guys had a great time today. I hope you remember to like and subscribe here to the Save a Library's YouTube channel and keep updated on everything that we come out with.